The Kiss Paul Stanley Model Kit. Tonight on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello, Kiss fans. My name is Trevor Slescu, and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Did you know they actually made a Kiss uh, model kit based off the Destroyer album cover? Well, today we're going to look at one out of three of the models that I own in my own personal collection. Unfortunately, I'm missing one of the guys, but uh, maybe I'll be able to do that review in the far distant future. But for tonight, we're going to look at Paul Stanley, the Star Child. So yeah, tune in, and I'm going to open up the box right now. Tonight, we're going to lay it at your feet as we look at this model kit. <laughs> anyway, this is the Polar Lights Paul Stanley model kit from the Destroyer. These are the other guys that are in the set. I am unfortunately missing Ace Freely, but doesn't stop me from reviewing what I got in front of me, does it? So, the first thing we're going to take a look at are these great Polar Lights instruction sheets. And as soon as you open it up, you get to see what other kits are available. And I will be doing a review on a couple of these that I have in my own collection. But, withstanding that, here is the assembly for these figures. These are molded in 1 8th, so 8th scale. So they will be able to fit in with your other 1 8th scale figure model kits. And they give you some nice tips on how to paint the hair and hands and everything. And how they set up for the diorama. Okay, so now we will look at one of the features that comes with this kit. It is this nice destroyer poster which goes in behind the models once it's all put together. That's very rigid, <laughs> but that's okay. It's been rolled up for a very long time. And now we've got our bag of goodies, which I will just open with my old Boy Scout pocket knife. And we'll lay out these parts trees. Okay, so here is some a very interesting thing. I believe this is the holder for the backdrop which would plug into the model and then the poster would go through those prongs. So something interesting. There's the top of the rock. No, I think that's for his foot. <laughs> yeah. And then there's some of the sides of the rock and the base. Okay, so we've got a few of those. Alright, so looking at the figure itself, you can see there's a lot of studs on the sleeves of the arms, which would be quite nice to paint up. And then we've got his, well, torso here, in that interesting pose the chest and arms, I do believe, the big vest there. And here's, <laughs> here's where it gets interesting. So we've got his face, his hands, his chest, two-part hair, that's the front, this is the back. There we go. <laughs> and those famous kiss Super huge elevator platform shoes that they had. So there you go. And that concludes our review of the Paul Stanley Kiss figure by Polar Lights. Well, we hope you enjoyed that examination of the Kiss set. Well, featuring Paul Stanley, the Destroyer album cover. And don't forget to also check out the other amazing figure model kits we have by checking it out down here at www.monster-hobbies.ca. And don't forget to check out our Build a Monster Model Contest coming up here. It's 2016 there, but we'll get a future one for 2018. 
and check out these other two amazing reviews and don't forget to like and subscribe to us right down here so we can continue to make these great videos and until next time keep it real